Good morning. What did it mean when this idea about Elijah coming? We're looking today at Mark chapter 9, verses 9 through 13. Let's read it. Now as they came down from the mountain, he commanded them that they should tell no one the things that they had seen, till the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept this word to themselves, questioning what the rising from the dead meant. And they asked him, saying, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? Then he answered and told them, Indeed, Elijah is coming first and restores all things. And how is it written concerning the Son of Man that he must suffer many things and be treated with contempt? But I say to you that Elijah has also come, and they did to him whatever they wished as it is written of him. There you have it. So now Jesus and his disciples, they're descending from the mount where he was transfigured. That was yesterday morning's devotional. And they're trying to understand about something they've heard, this idea that Elijah has to come first. And while well, Elijah hasn't come first, so how could really Jesus be the Messiah? But what did we just saw? We see, we saw Jesus, we saw divine glory manifested. I mean, that was kind of unambiguously from heaven. So they asked Jesus finally, what does it mean that Elijah comes first? And now Jesus goes on and shows them that, you know what, Elijah has already come. Yes, it's true. And by the way, Elijah's already come. He's already come. Because remember, who, what, what was the message of Elijah? Make, decide this day who you will serve, God or not God. And also Elijah is kind of a herald. It's a, he's a herald of the kingdom. Make your decision and choose it. John the Baptist was Elijah. John the Baptist was Elijah, wasn't he? After all, he was the herald of Christ's coming. He, he told that Jesus was coming. He led people to make a decision to choose to repent and follow Jesus as Messiah. He pointed out Jesus as Messiah. He, John the Baptist was, was the Elijah who came before Jesus in that first coming. And you know what? What's very interesting is that there will be people, there will be a John the Baptist, there will be an Elijah who will also have a message about Jesus before the second coming. And that really needs to be you and I. We need to be Elijah because Jesus is coming again. It's the second coming. It'll be the end. And there would be a people who will herald and tell the world that Jesus is coming soon. The world might not even believe it. The world might be way off track and not even believe there's any kind of ultimate truth. But you know what? There will be people who also are faithful, who are telling the world that Jesus is coming. We will have an Elijah message. And that's what we need to have today. We need to be uh, that God is calling us actually to be that for this world. The world needs an Elijah. Of course, they won't treat us too much better than they treated John the Baptist, so don't plan on that. But Elijah had already come and they missed it. They were oblivious to that. Jesus had to tell them, yes, it already happened. Oh, it was John the Baptist. And there's going to be a lot of people confused one day and say, well, why, why didn't Elijah come before the second coming? But we will have already been there and given a Bible-based, end-time, present-truth message from the Word. So we need to be about this work because, yeah, Elijah does come first, and we so want Jesus to come. And with that note, let's go ahead and pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Jesus was transfigured in the mount, and then he said, don't tell anybody until after I've risen from the dead. And then there was this question about, who was Elijah? Lord, help us to be ahead of that question. Help us to be on that curve. Help us to be willing to be Elijah in this world that needs an Elijah. We need to be called in a loving and winning way to decision. So give us the help and the grace and the strength we need to call others to know the beautiful God that you are and, and to cause them to lead, to lead them to want to choose Jesus, to choose unselfishness and to choose the, the way of life instead of the way of death. Bless us, Lord, to be faithful heralds. Elijah, at the very end of time, help us to be faithful agents, because Elijah has to come first. Lord, help us to be part of that. We ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. What will it take for you and I to be functioning Elijah-ish? What will it take? What do we need to do so that we know the message, so that we it's applied to our lives, so that our lives reflect the truth of the gospel, the truth of Jesus, that people say, that person, that person is Elijah in the flesh. Help us to find it by reading in your word. Bless us today in this wonderful day you've given us. We ask it in Jesus' name.